Hi guys, Magic from Magic Apps UK here. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak a new iPhone 4. Um, as you can see there, brand new iPhone 4 um, on operating system 4.2, um, 4.2.1. I'll show you that now. Um, there you go. As you can see, it's on. 4.2.1 um, there is 4.3 out at the moment but 4.3 is a tethered jailbreak using Snowbreeze um, it is on my channel with the videos of jailbroken an iPad using Snowbreeze um, it's a tethered jailbreak so it can be a little bit if you don't know what you're doing every time you have to reboot and re-tether so it can be a little bit annoying um, and it can crash your iPad a few bits so I'd wait before you upgrade to 4.3 so we're going to jailbreak this iPhone here um, basically the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to Google um, let me just get the search box up there for you to see and you're going to need to search green poison and the second O is a zero so it's green poison with a zero as the second O in poison um, and once you've searched that in Google if you look at the top it will be the top result, Green Poison. Just click there and go to the website. Um, let me just adjust the camera a little bit so you can see. So click on the top result there, which is Green Poison website. Um, and this will okay, open so up Once for you've you. downloaded Green Poison, save it as a zip file onto your desktop if you can see mine there on the desktop um, and then extract here you click right click and extract here and that'll extract green poison to your desktop as you can see it's put it down here um, at the bottom left of the screen there double click on green poison um, it's quite a simple process to jailbreak sometimes you have to run the jailbreak a couple of times to get Cydia onto the iPhone um, and as you can see, it asks you if you're running Apple TV, just click no. Um, and then you've got prepare to jailbreak. So preparing to jailbreak, you have to put your device into DFU mode, which is a standby recovery mode, or it will go into restore mode. So you have to make sure you get the DFU mode. There are two different types. One will show the iTunes uh, feature on the iPhone 4 here um, and the other one will just be a blank screen which will be the DFU mode um, so that's the idea that you're going to try to get to but it tells you what to do so click on um, prepare to jailbreak let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing click on prepare to jailbreak basically you're going to hold the home button down for two three seconds then you're going to hold the home button and the power button down for a further 10 seconds. Following the instructions on the screen, as you can see it counts down. Phone will go off. Release the, the power button and continue to hold the home button at the bottom of the iPhone. As you can see, it's gone to a blank screen. Following, and now it will go into the DF mode. The DFU mode, and you can release that button. And basically, it says jailbreak at the bottom click jailbreak and it will start running the jailbreak on the iPhone in a little while you'll see the breakdown on the iPhone you'll get a green poison logo on the actual iPhone itself there we go see it's starting to jailbreak now if I bring that in a bit closer you'll see that run through And there we go, jailbreak on 4.2. This will put um, an icon on your springboard called um, Loader, which you'll then be able to connect to the internet first of all, and you'll be able to click on Loader and load Cydia onto the iPhone. Um, so let this finish, just let it run through, just to show you what it does. In the meantime, when that's running through, just zoom on the computer, it tells you that it's successfully jailbroken and you can quit the program. Um, and it's just this part of the iPhone now which needs to finish. Just takes a few seconds. And there we go, the Apple logo. 
changes into the green poison logo you can see that it will go off and then the phone will reboot and put a little bit of light on so I'll just give it a few minutes and let the phone reboot and a quick green poison on there now as you can see still got the uh, green poison man logo on the on the screen now Wee, bingo and what we have is a jailbroken iPhone on 4.2 new operating system with loader on the desktop so what you then need to do is go into settings make sure you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi network otherwise you won't be able to load anything through the jailbreak and to get Cydia on there so I'm just going to connect to my internet quickly So just connected to my internet there. I'm going to go back to the desktop. As you can see, the Wi-Fi signals are at the top of the iPhone up there. Um, I'm going to go back to the desktop, the Springboard. Scroll along, open Loader, and there you have Cydia at the top. If you click on Cydia, install. Um, that will download and install Cydia to the iPhone and voila you have a jailbroken iPhone you can start installing all the apps and tweaks and gadgets that you want to install brilliant Once thanks you've guys installed Cydia you need to reboot the iPhone again you'll see the green poison logo loading why it does this um, so just make sure you get the reboot and then Cydia will be on the desktop once it comes back on I'll just show you that quickly now Let's just wait for it to come back on. And Green Poison Man's back there again. Can't see in that well. There you go. And unlock, and there you have Cydia. So run Cydia and do your updates and start installing all your, your tweaks, gadgets and apps that you want to. Um, there's a few of them here on my channel and my videos telling you the best apps to get when you jailbreak your device, either whether it be iPhone or iPad. Um, I've got actually an iPad 3GS which I've saved the Cydia on and I'm going to restore it onto this phone here. Um, so good luck guys, enjoy your jailbreak, thank you very much.